Okay, the moment generating function is by definition the expected value of e to the tx, which for a discrete random variable is the sum over the support, which for the case of a binomial is the non negative integer 0 to n, e to the tx times f of x, which for a binomial is n choose x, p to the x, 1 minus p to the n minus x. Now let's manipulate that a little bit. We have x is 0 to n of n choose x and then let's bring together that e to the tx in p to the x um, as p e to the t to the power x and 1 minus p to the n minus x. Now recall that the binomial expansion is a plus b to the n is the sum of x is 0 to n of n choose x b to the x a to the n minus x. And so what we have here is the binomial expansion. Let me just separate this from our previous work. I'll kind of put a line through there, um, indicating that we're going to be using that binomial expansion. And what we have here is b is equal to p e to the t, and a is equal to 1 minus p. So we have 1 minus p is a, plus b we said was p e to the t, to the n. And that is our moment generating function. Now all we need to do is state the values of t for which this is finite. And that is for all t from negative infinity to positive infinity. That's because uh, 1 minus p and p e to the t are finite for every fixed t. So what we have here is our moment generating function that we found for the binomial random variable.